Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode here of the Top 5 Seed Series. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I got five epic kind of mountain village hybrid seeds for you guys. Now, if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know how this works, there will be the chunk base links in the description below. So you guys can go ahead, click that, go ahead, check out the seeds. Now, if I find it important, the actual coordinates will be on your screen. We're in the 1.19 version of the game, and this will work in Java Edition. Now, structures will be different in Bedrock, but, you know, the generation will be the same. So, this is a Bedrock seed and a Java Edition seed. I don't want to waste your time. Let's get into seed number one. Alrighty, this is like my third take on this seed. Welcome to seed number one, ladies and gentlemen, where you're gonna find yourself spawning directly next to a small little village. Now, this village isn't anything crazy. It's nothing like, you know, oh, look at it, it has four blacksmiths, but you're gonna get food, you're gonna get houses, and you're gonna get a farm right away, which is really all you're looking for. And then you're gonna be greeted by this beautiful slow rise mountain. Now, this mountain I call slow rise because over here is very quick rise. <laughs> If you take a look, you have this nice, smooth incline around it, and then you have this absolute massive stony peak biome, and then a nice little smooth one, and I don't know if you notice what's cool about this seed, is these are actually surrounding your spawn point. Your spawn point is the village, essentially, and then you have these beautiful mountains completely covering you. I think it looked absolutely phenomenal and then it even got cooler because if you go over the hill you have more mountains you have more mountain range you can you can build here if you and your friends were looking to set up shop in one of these seeds and have this area you definitely could and this would be a perfect spot for like two or three of your friends to join you and you all have your own individual area now i'm only gonna show one of them because i just there ain't <laughs> They're, they are what they are, right? We're gonna have some... We gotta go this way. Sorry, we went the wrong way. We're gonna jump over this mountain where we're gonna end up just kinda right... Nope. <laughs> We're gonna jump over the mountain, the coordinates will be on your screen anyway, where we're gonna go right here, where roughly right here where we dig straight down. Am I right? I think I'm right. Am I not right? I'm close. Am I not? Come on. The, the coordinates are on your screen either way. There they are. Okay, coordinates pop up now. So you have deep dark, but not only do you have one, you actually have three in your general area. If you want to explore, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put the coordinates of the other ones up there so you can have that adventure of finding them, but there is coordinates and they do exist down here. I'm trying to trying to locate one, but I'm not doing a great job. But there you go. Seed number one. Now, following in the lead of the last seed, you're gonna spawn here in seed number two inside of a village. Now, I think you can kind of start to understand the theme of this, vid this video where we're spawning in villages next to just absolute stunning landscaping. I thought I'd go back to the roots and do a good landscape video because I always love doing them. They're so much fun. So you have this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful village. You know, it's nothing crazy, but it's absolutely stunning just where it is. Just absolutely everything about it is building up to the mountain. Everything's looking great. Now you're going to have this cute little cave here. Nothing too crazy, but cute little side cave you could set up in. And then you're going to have this mountain range. Now I love mountain ranges because they just they're so much cooler and I need to get my CPU checked to figure out why we're having stutters because we are having stutters recording these videos I'm sorry I, I don't know what to do I have my chunks way too high and it might be that I'm using an old pre-release of Optifine I'll have to look into it but you do have these really cool mountain ranges and what's even cooler about this seed is how close your uh, ancient city is going to be so if you spawn in your nice little village you turn around you have this kind of cool area right here what you're going to want to do is go to the right now coordinates will be up on the screen obviously uh i've been doing that lately but if you dig straight down i'm not even going to turn night vision on it's an ancient city you know i think you can see enough right here to know it's an ancient city it's here it's right off of your spawn point go have fun trying to survive. That, that is an ancient city. I, I don't got much to say about them, but it's here. I have to prove to you what just happened. I, I normally do slash kill when I look around the seat so I can get my talking points, and it spawned me <laughs> directly on this lamppost. 
this was my spawn point of seed number three. So if that's not a good sign, I don't know what is. Seed number three isn't going to be as crazy as the last two. And I did that intentionally. I did it so someone who wants a little more flat terrain or areas they can work with while having the mountains in the background, this seeds for you guys. You have this little mountain here. It's nothing crazy. You know what I mean? But it looks good. It's giving you that really interesting aspect. And then you have all these canyons, but lots and lots of flat land. Now over here, you are going to find that crazy mountain range that you're looking for, because honestly, that's what you clicked on the video for with some crazy mountain ranges. And what's even more unique with this crazy mountain range behind you is dead center. You guessed it. Oh, look at this cave. That's kind of cool. Oh, lots of caves. There is an ancient city. We're not going to spend too much time, but there is an ancient city dead smack in the middle of this. And there you go. You can go explore that. Now, I'm not going to go to it. I'm not going to go and find it right now. But if you make your way back to your spawn location, which is actually something that I always get lost doing uh, in this seed in particular, I got lost three times trying to find the spawn. If you go back to the spawn location inside the plains biome here to your left, there is a pillager outpost. Now I haven't been able to find it. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't look all that hard trying to find it, but it is in here. So if you wanna go find it, there's a second village over here that exists in the seed. Somehow I find it before. Okay, there's a third village in this seed. <laughs> I didn't realize they were that close to each other. Oh, I'm way past it then. That means the pillager outpost should be probably somewhere along here i don't know go go ahead and tell me if you found it the, the trunk base links are in the description anyway which i told you already let me know if you can find it is that a different village too oh i'm so confused now <laughs> let me know what you find in this seed Now, coming in at C number four, it's not as grand as the first two, but it is it is much grander than the, th the, the third. C number four is really cool in my eyes because you spawn into a little canyon. And as you can see, this little canyon has a lot of punch to it. And we're going to go over that here in a second. But you're going to spawn inside a village that is slowly climbing up this mountain, which I found really cool. And it almost looks like you have a, like they wanted to go into the cave the cave and they never did you know what i mean it, it just is what it is and i love it it's so cool so if we fly up you can see that there's actually a beautiful mountain range here that ends at another village now this seed is actually quite crazy when it comes to villages you have a village here right that's village number two you have another village over here that morphs into it like basically anywhere you go you're gonna find yourself a village from your spawn point and it's super cool and then bam you have a beautiful massive mountain biome behind you you can go through you have mega taiga you have everything you could need and i think it's really cool i don't know why i'm out of breath talking about this seed but i am i'm forgetting to breathe i'm a terrible youtuber i could never be a radio host could i but check <laughs> Like, it's just a beautiful seed, and I think you could get a lot of use out of this with your friends. I think this would be a good SMP seed. Oh, look, there's a freaking exposed geo. That's so cool. Oh, this is such an interesting and unique seed. I, I, let me know if you play on it. Send me a tweet at Minini Gaming on Twitter. Now, seed number five is by far, and I mean by like a very significant amount my favorite seed in this entire video because you spawn next to bees i'm just kidding that's not the reason it's my favorite but it <laughs> it's in there it's one of them i really like that you spawn next to a beehive but you're gonna spawn inside this village now this village has a blacksmith so already it's kind of upgraded it's already a better interesting type of village now if we fly around here you're inside a, a, what are these things called? A grove? Are these things groves? You're inside the middle of a mountain and it's so cool because check it out. You're inside and you're completely covered off, but there is a little bit of danger. A little bit of a danger noodle on the other side here because if you're heading toward the other mountain, you are going to be greeted by a pillager outpost. Now it has no buildings other than the iron golem one. You're not going to get yourself any allies, unfortunately. 
but it looks like the spawning is even kind of difficult so I wouldn't be overly concerned about it being there if you wanted to live in this village for a little while or permanently base there. It's not going to be that big of a deal I don't think. And then if you go over here you're obviously going to have an absolute beautiful mountain range that leads to a second village. Now this village is a savannah village that morphs into a regular village. I, I don't know. I always find morphing villages so cool. But just look at this mountain range. <laughs> this mountain range has everything you're going to need. And we are going to touch on that cave. Because that cave looks absolutely beautiful. Now, unfortunately, I know what you guys are thinking. Hey, is there a, uh, a, a what's it called? There's not. Okay, I had to double check. Is there a uh, mansion in here? There's not, unfortunately. You're not going to be able to find a mansion in there. But let's touch on this cave. This cave over here. Where did it go? We just saw it. I feel like we just flew over it, didn't we? Look at this cave. Oh my god, you do not want to accidentally stumble into this. Imagine you're walking and you're like, oh, look at this cave. And then next thing you know, <laughs> deep dark biome. <laughs> An ancient city! I didn't even know this was here! <laughs> oh man, that's genuine. I had no idea that was there. Oh my god, this seed just got even better. This is your spawn point. You climb over this freaking hill. You just jump because the water is probably going to be down there by now. Oh my god. You can literally just dive into an ancient city. <laughs> I love it so much. That's so cool. Alrighty guys, for the outro, I'm doing a little something different. I want to see if we can survive it. Now, I, I put myself in survival mode way too high up in the air, so I took a lot of damage and landed in a weird spot. But, I want to see. I want to see if we can make it. But if you guys are new to the channel, please, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Me and my girlfriend have a bet going on right now that I can hit 15,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. But she seems to think that I... <laughs> She's a little more optimistic. She's a little more, you know... Not optimistic. She's a little more grounded than I am, and she said I could hit 10,000. So we bet 20 bucks on it. Problem is, if I hit 14,999, I lose the bet. So if you guys want to help me get $20 from my girlfriend, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button because the YouTube algorithm likes that. Hey, let's see if we can. Oh my god, that block might have screwed me. No! <laughs> Let me know if you guys can make that jump because that is awesome. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode here at the Top 5 Seed Series. Peace.